Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rafe Cal. We are going to do a little bit of grinding this video and a little bit of item hunting. Uh, we just last time got the uh, let's see. We, we did some tracking down on the imp equipment. We got the cursed shield. And we're going to be using those together to hopefully do some work here. We're also, uh, we also got uh, the last party member and a little bit of uh, our very, very initial farming in the dinosaur forest, which completely kicked our butt. So we're going to equip Celis. This is, uh, I'm kind of going with a party that is a little bit lower level, um, but doesn't need to learn a ton of magic, because we're not, that's not what we're aiming for right now. So we're going to go with uh, Mystery Veil and Minerva. This is a really just sick setup here. It's going to be our basic, uh set up for pretty much every female character in the game, except Realm has a slightly different take because of her uh, special equipment. Uh, we're going to go with Viper Darts, which were called Doom Darts in the original game. Uh, let's double check if he's got all of the offensive spells. He does not have Blizzara, so we're going to give him the Ice Shield. Uh, we're going to give him a Genji Helm, I guess. You know what? We're going to give him the Red Cap for now. I think that's probably going to be better, and then we'll just give him Genji Armor. Coco's going to have a Magus Rod. We're going to go Force Shield. Circlet. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Magus Rod. Seems like a decent setup for Coco. And for Edgar, <laughs> we're going to have some fun. can't remember if this works without everything, so we're just gonna kind of hope. Oh wait, no, no, we want to do this. Never mind. The imp stuff does not work for this particular setup. Because equipping the ribbon is gonna negate imp. <sighs> I'm dumb. <laughs> Chris Shield, Royal Crown, Holy Lance. Um, for other relics, well, actually, let's pick our stuff for Gogo -Go quick. So, the way Gogo -Go works, we get Mimic automatically. We're gonna go Magic and Items, just so we have them. And we can pick any command off the list. I can't imagine what command we would take. <laughs> Um, technically you can have all different abilities if you want. Kind of neat. So we're going to go ahead and stick with a standard build here of Hero's Ring and Earrings. Hero's Ring and Earrings. Uh, Setzer is actually going to have a special role here as our <laughs> prevent back attacks and encourage uh, preemptives. 
Setzer's main purpose here is going to just be to hit with Viper Darts and maybe get a one-shot kill. Okay. Let's make sure she's not... Yeah, she was about ready to learn Tritok. Um, we're actually going to go with... Actually, no. Let's stick with that. Let's go... Or, I'm going to say Bell... Bell Garmanda, which I really like the name Tritok better. I don't know why they changed that one. <laughs> That's not just me complaining. Uh, Gogo cannot equip Espers. Gogo automatically knows every spell that everyone in the party knows. They can mimic it. <laughs> um, drain. Death. Must have been doing... Sally, but it's not a huge deal. I think we're gonna have Edgar. Actually, I'm not gonna risk. Let's, let's wait and see. Um. No, no. Let's just do it. We'll, we'll see how this works. Okay. So we're doing a little bit of farming here that's uh, kind of unique. We're going to be using the item there, the, or the, we're using the new Esper, rather, to potentially get some special items. Uh, that can be obtained with the Metamorphose command. Forest near the Colosseum. It must be this. We have a decent party set up here. We're still going to be getting some decent experience points in addition to looking for these items. These items are going to help us get a couple little boosts of just quick experience that we wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Uh, you'll notice that Edgar has a special little there. Um, namely, he's going to be on a constant countdown. Ragnarok comes down. Miss. And now we see if Gogo -Go can succeed. This is the cheesy way to do this, but it works. Uh, we basically just need to not die. Because <laughs> if we do anything else, we lose the Esper command. Uh, there's a chance of this working every time. It's like a 40-something percent chance. Um, so this is kind of going to be kind of like lock stealing, except a bit more extreme. Uh, even if we succeed, it's only a 1 in 4 chance of getting what we want. <laughs> And if we don't go pretty soon, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish this off. Uh, the little counter from Ed uh, Edgar there is from uh, it's from the shield. He has the. Cursed Shield equipped, which is going to uh, give him pretty much every status effect in the game. That's why he has the ribbon on, however it can't cancel Doom. So he's, we still are going to have 40 seconds to beat to these fights. good to fight. May need to try one of the other locations. 
And I'm gonna hope that some of these other ones have a better chance of actually success. Of uh, actually succeeding, rather. Uh, that bird enemy is the one we actually want to get that effect off on in this area. And the result is going to be additional growth eggs. Uh, which we have one of currently, and those give a boost to experience when you have them equipped. Um, if we can get four of those and equip them, and then take a party out to the more with really good experience, and equip espers that tend to give stat buffs rather than um, spells at that point, like magic magic buff ones or physical buffs. Uh, we're going to get one that gets speed in a little bit. Um, that'll help. <laughs> uh, the good news is... that these easy fights, while they're kind of annoying, are also contributing to Edgar getting the first shield undone. It needs to have 256 battles before it is uncursed. going for these uh, little things that don't cost MP to preserve <laughs> to preserve it since we're going to be here a while. I haven't even seen another one of those birds yet. I'm going to try and keep track of the battles for the Curse Shield as we go, but I am not counting on it. <laughs> I'm expecting to be close, not to be accurate. Um, so we're going to go Dara on one of these. I've set her attack the other. Once we're confirmed it's dead, we need it to be dead. get about down to about 10-15 seconds again. Or if uh, party members get really low on health. You can only summon each uh, you can only summon each Esper once per fight. So using Gogo -Go kind of gets around that. See if we got the right one. And of course my phone my phone and computer are going nuts right now for some reason. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say we got a potion. <laughs> Which is the other option. You have a one in four chance of just straight up, even if you succeed here getting up there. Um and we only have one door effect, so yep. Needless to say, this is going to be a somewhat long process. Um, that is the reason that we're doing it the way we are. Kind of trying to do multiple things like this at once with the curse shield and such. Okay. <sighs> I 
suppose the good news with this is we are getting three magic points per victory. At least from that particular fight. In the interest of maintaining sanity, once we've done, uh, once we've been here for a little while, I will be doing some other, or going to some other areas. So there are about, there are three areas where we can get this particular one, uh, the XP egg, or the growth egg rather. And there are about that many where we can get several other items that we want. <laughs> uh, including an item that I would, I am really looking forward to getting. Um, probably not using all the time, but using on some of the physical characters. It's called the Marvel Shoes. And what it does is give you haste, but it also gives... Um, it gives haste, but it gives protect and shell as well. So it's like a mix of three different artifacts in one. So I'm going to see if it ever changes. Nope. <laughs> Setzer learned death. Um, I guess we'll go to Drain. He hasn't been getting a ton of experience from this. As I look down and realize this is the lowest XP area on my list and cons <laughs> consider my choice. Notice there it said growth egg instead of potion at the top, which is what we're looking for. No nope, potion. <laughs> so there's always that chance. And we're up to 13 out of 256. <laughs> I 
had a whole one good round there. Not getting much headway, and I am being dumb and re realizing way too late into this that, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess we haven't been doing it that long, uh, that it's, that there are better XP opportunities. Granted, the fights are probably going to be a lot more challenging, but I feel like we're in pretty good shape still. Nice thing with this one is it actually, or with this, it's this. So the forest near Thamaza. Um, the nice thing with this one is it's going to be worth a lot more uh, gill as well, much higher money drops, and about four times the experience. So hopefully it'll work. and some more money. Um, I don't think I saw anything trigger, but let's just double check quick. Yeah, we should be nowhere near that. Um, I just realized that having Edgar have the sh Oh wait, no, it's not until he gets the other shield, so we're good. Only one enemy this time. And that battle tech speed is just really high. Which is normally fine, but I keep glancing up and not catching what it says. <laughs> Succeeds. Potion. I suppose the nice thing is if it does work, it also instant kills. There's some enemies that it's actually... I'm, I'm gonna be using it when we go back to Dinosaur Forest because uh, the Brachiosaurs there have a straight 50% chance of it just killing them. And they're immune to instant death. <laughs> but this doesn't count. really interesting uh, it's really it's a very interesting thing and it's something that you can actually do a lot of very creative things with 
Um, it's actually one of the ways that I did one of my very stupid setups for Final Fantasy VII, uh, which was... I didn't notice again. Not even gonna bother checking. <laughs> I'll check when I have a reason to go to the menu. I definitely don't have four. We'll go with that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, for Final Fantasy VII, one of my setups was, uh, Knights of the Round, bound with HP Absorb, and then I had each character with a counter attack, or a counter, and bound to Mimic. Hey, that was a growth egg. I was paying attention that time. So... You know, Knights of the Round is a summon spell in Final Fantasy VII that does 13 attacks, which usually hit for 9,999 each. And, uh... So my basic strategy there was, basically, you cast it once, and then you just let the enemy attack you, and because everybody has Mimic bound with their counter as a counter, when they get hit, they attack back with, or, you know, 130,000 damage, and they absorb all the damage dealt back as hit points. It was really stupid. It also had final attack. Um, hey, that was another growth egg. That's really good. Um, <laughs> we're making good progress. Okay, that was actually two in a row, and I didn't check the third one. So I'm gonna double check and make sure we don't already have four. Oh, three. That's still really good. I was not expecting it to go that fast. Um. So yeah, that was my really stupid Final Fantasy VII setup. It also had a final attack which means if your character dies, they get one last attack. Um, bound with um, Phoenix. So, if you died, if that person died, it brought back the other two party members. So it was very difficult to die. The problem there was that uh, if you had the Phoenix... Uh, Uh, that it, once the phoenix triggered, then you lost that mimic because that was the last thing used. So you had to do some, either recast Knights of the Round or do something else. But that was very stupid, I promise. I did something similar with a uh, bind quad attack with HP Absorb, and then do the same thing where you. Uh, bind it with counter, so when you get hit, you hit back four times with HP Absorb. There's a lot of stupid stuff you can do in Final Fantasy VII. I mean, you can do some pretty stupid things in this game, too. Um, at some point, I, I won't use it for very long, probably, but at some point I will most likely be using a setup um, that I've used in the past, which involves... Um, uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, so th it involves using Genji Glove, which I think I've already done a little bit, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the, with the instant death chances. So it uses the Genji Glove, and then, like, the Viper Darts, or the Assassin Dagger, um, and another item called the Master Scroll, or the Offering in the original game. Uh, the Offering is what uh, General Leo had, which lets you make four attacks. Genji Glove lets you two weapons. So it is, you get eight attacks, and if you equip two weapons that cause instant death, you have eight attacks that let you do a chance at instant death. 
if you take that a step further, you can actually get that equipped on multiple characters. Um, and at one point, I think I had three characters that were at least equipped with the Genji Glove. And I believe at least a couple of them had Offering. Offerings are really rare drop, so, I mean, it's... There's not another way to get it besides, uh, I think you can get two if you really try, and I just totally botched that by sorting. <laughs> um, it's one of my, it's one of the parties I used a lot when I was playing this game as a kid. Um, I suppose it's all relative. Um, <laughs> I don't think I did that setup as a kid as much as I did when I was in like, college, probably, but... As a kid, I mostly just did Ultima Gembox Mimic. <laughs> Gembox lets you cast, uh, twice. Cast a spell twice, so... Pretty sure that was a potion, but I wasn't paying super close attention. Yep. I was, I always liked Sabin, but I was always really bad at putting in the blitz, especially the uh, final one. I mean, I'm still not amazing at it. <laughs> and at this point, you know, I occasionally play fighting games. I've spent a lot more time doing this sort of thing, and it's still really hard to get it to input correctly. So I didn't use Sabin, uh, Sabin's blitzes very often as a kid. I used Setzer a lot because his special, uh, you can turn his special into coin toss, which throws money at the enemies to do tons of damage. Um, I used Gogo, I used Edgar, I used Shadow a lot. Lots of uh, characters that just had these stupid little ways to do lots of damage. Obviously, also just. I mean, most of the time I had my uh, had my party equipped with every spell, you know. And very rarely actually used physical attacks of any kind. Would just use Ultima with everybody repeatedly. Definitely used a lot of shadow, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of shadow, Edgar, Setzer. They're always my favorite characters as a kid. Mog, because the noble charm. And Gogo, -Go because you could just do whatever the other person did again. You know, you only get one gem back, so they can double cast. Uh, us, they can double cast Ultima, and then you have Gogo -Go do the same thing as a mimic. I love doing those little weird gimmicky parties on occasion. Um, I I had a kind of quasi go to party I used just as a joke, uh, which was. Uh, Gogo, Umaro, Mog, and Gao as a um, basically the uncontrollable party, so you just set all of them. You have Mog Dance, Gal Rage, 
Um, have Gogo do one of those and then have Umaro. And it would just be stupid. You'd just walk away. Gao actually has some really stupidly powerful rages. It's and some ones that you could do in really creative ways. The one I keep hearing about is Stray Cat. It has like a cat scratch attack that just is a really high base power physical because the enemy has really low strength. And Gao is really high strength. Fairly sure I'm way off on my count right now. <laughs> or it just feels like I should be. But yeah. There's a lot of like little silly things like that you can do that are just bizarre and fun. I guess I also just used Vanished X-Zone a lot, or Vanished Doom. Um, I've mentioned that at least a couple times. So when you're Vanished, it makes you, uh, or it makes magic hit 100% of the time. So what that means in terms of status moves, normally like an instant death spell has like a 50% chance of working, and because of vanish, it just works. Now, norm in this version of the game, they have fixed it. Um, it still works like that, but in the old game, the way vanish worked, for some reason, also got rid of um, immunities to instant death, or to status effects. So, you could hit most bosses in the game. You cast Vanish on them. I just realized what the timer was at. So yeah, there was a, a basically the way that you could play the original Final Fantasy VI or SNES. You can basically use cast the vanish spell on any boss that has or that is not immune to vanish, which was very few. And as long as the vanish worked, you could cast uh, spells like break or doom or death or X zone, and it would just kill them. It's not something that I do in my current playthroughs because it's really cheesy and I like doing more fun, creative ways to get around that kind of stuff at this point. As you have no doubt noticed from my last couple boss fights, you can break this game pretty hard just playing it as it's intended without doing the silly, over-the-top, glitchy stuff like that. Terra morphed and, uh, casting, you know, level 2 spells. <laughs> He's doing almost maxed out damage against most bosses in the World of Ruin. I think we're in pretty good shape without Vanish Doom. There's actually a couple bosses where be, you would actually miss triggers because of that. Um, so it would, uh, like uh, Doom Gaze, one that we encountered on the airship. If you happen to use that particular glitch to use X-Zone, 
it doesn't actually kill him, it removes him from the fight. And since he never actually goes through his death animation, you don't trigger the event to, um, you don't trigger the event to get the Magicite from him. It's kind of weird. There's actually another boss we will still be using the X-Zone trick on, or the Banish trick, I guess. Um, because it's a really obnoxious boss. It's not a- we're not gonna use the trick because, uh, technically the thing we're using it on is not immune to instant death, so it's not really a glitch. It just ends the encounter without you actually fighting the boss. He has some minions, and he technically disappears off the screen. He vanishes himself, and you can just use an attack that removes the enemy minions from the screen, and it thinks the fight's over because you've beaten all three of them. Or because none of the three are on the field, rather. My go-to teams at this point tend to be, um, like, what I feel are the most powerful characters that I also like. Um, I usually do something like Locke and Celis, um, because I, I do, I do really like Locke. He's not really good, but I like the Steel Command. I do, he's a good person to have in your party, and because he's in the game so long, um, Can learn a lot of magic. Also, he gets some really cool equipment. I don't think it's like the end of the world or anything as far as his equipment goes, but wing edges are really good. <coughs> and you can get two. And if you get two <laughs> and equip them, his speed gets stupid, and I actually really like fast characters. It's kind of uh, one of the types of characters that I tend to enjoy, is the one who gets to take... Uh, I like the fact that his meter fills up really fast and can react to things. I like the fact that you can uh, get a lot of multiple actions at the same time. You don't have steal chances. Um... Celis is just really powerful. She and Terra both get stupid, powerful, um, and realm because of their equipment. And I feel like, in particular, those characters are really good. And I really like Celis. I mean, I like Terra, but I, I think Celis is a, a really strong character also. And while Morph is very powerful. Might be a bit overkill. <laughs> you don't need it. And Runic gives you a neat option in the late game. Uh, I like Sabin a lot. Even if I screw up his blitzes sometimes, even if you just hit it one out of four times, he still keeps up with on damage <laughs> with everyone else. And if you hit it more than that, Phantom Rush is stupid. And Gale, uh, Gale Slash is great for just getting through hard areas without busting all your MP. Um, and like I said, Realm, I think, is a really strong character and kind of gets pushed aside because she is... Hey, we got another one. Awesome. Um... She kind of gets set aside compared to some of the other characters. Um, maybe because Sketch is not very good, maybe because she's a kid. And but she's very powerful and 
get some of the best equipment set for the game. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> as far as magic goes. And magic is by far the most powerful thing in this game. Um, let's see, where are we going? Go Let me go to Zozo for the next thing. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, we need block. For no, no, we can use we can use uh, go go for it. I was gonna say we need lock, and I was like, no, we can do this. <laughs> for two items here. Uh, one of them, we're gonna see if we can get on the way. Um, to Mount Zozo. Because the enemies in this area are the original enemies. So they're not very good to grind on, or ideally we're not going to be grinding on them, but if we happen to get the item, we may as well go for it. Potion is not the item we want. <laughs> um, The item here is the marble shoes that I mentioned. Um, like I said, it's a gives shell haste and protect and regen, I believe, actually, also. So it's just a very powerful relic that gives you a lot of good stat specs. It's great to put on a slower character like Cyan or um, Edgar aren't going to be using the hero ring earring combination. Basically lets them be kind of a tank healer character. One more go, come on. If we happen to find more of those enemies along the way, I'll continue to try it, but I'm not going to sit there and farm them, because they're not really worth much in the way of, uh, anything <laughs> for us. They are very... weak overall. That was the wrong door, wasn't it? Yep. As a side note there, if Gogo if nobody has attacked yet, Gogo will just use a full attack. And that was three more fights that I didn't mark down. I'm really good at this, I swear. sitting at about 30 fights right now, for the record. <laughs> We're looking for an enemy called Punisher. 
that's right, this is the guy who has stupid evasion. Just have to use drill. They do drop a lot of gold, but part of that is because they also steal gold. And you get your own gold back. <laughs> so it looks like we're getting more than we are. Hey, we got the Bone Club on the first go. Um, like, genuinely, that is the item we came for, and we got it on our first try. Um, it's one of the only pieces of equipment that Umaro can wear. We are gonna walk out, so that we have more chances of getting Veil Dancer. Really, these guys are worth a lot of AP for the point in the game they come in. They drop better money. If they had better money drops, I'd be much more interested in it. We, by the way, we need 500,000 for an auction item. That is our current thing we're saving up for. And we'll probably be selling a bunch of stuff for it as well. Uh, that was... I'm very bad at keeping track of this. <laughs> I think that was two more since I said something. And I guess we'll go down to Jadu. Considering. You know what? We'll go for it. I'm gonna head back up to Ozer's Manor. I do wanna stop real quick here and double check the shops. A good piece of armor. <laughs> Just saying. I hadn't realized how good it was at the time. Um, it'd be nice to be able to equip more than one person at the same time. <laughs> That's basically the problem. If I have to switch equipment every time I switch party members, it can get really annoying really fast. See, we're looking for blade dancers. Hey, blade dancer, awesome. We need to get rid of the crushers. Let's see if this kills everyone. <laughs> we'll consider this an experimental round and the best way to get past this as fast as possible. This should be worth a decent amount, and there's actually another item we can get this way that is a pretty rare drop uh, that lets us do the silly Genji Glove instant death thing, <laughs> which I do really love doing.
none of these are on the list. There is another enemy on the list um, in this area. They're an enemy called Misty. And they have a chance to give us ribbons, uh, which are, as we said, or as I said, uh, ignore all status effects. That's what Edgar's got to cook right now. Super Ball. Okay. So, yeah, basically, uh, Marvel Shoes, or Miracle Shoes, I guess they are in this game, uh, replace the Hermes Sandals that we normally have been using. Stupid. We'll go gain the level. Uh, these enemies actually have a decent drop rate for gold and experience, also, which is nice. Let's see if this will. I think this will kill the two crushers, but not the. Blade Dancers, and then finish him off. Yep. Miracle Shoes! Gogo dies, uh, it's over. <laughs> because at that point, somebody else has acted, which breaks the mimic chain. <laughs> that is the downside about these enemies, compared to the last ones, is they're a lot more vicious. There is a third area where we can get this item, um, so we'll be doing this for a little while here and then moving on. Uh, probably once people start learning magic <laughs> or getting to a level where I don't want to continue grinding. Or if I miraculously get a...
what I'm looking for as far as that goes. <laughs> uh, if I miraculously get a... What am I trying to say? The money that I need. If I somehow manage to get up to 500,000, we'll break for that as well. Stupid. of the lack of encounters here. I've had... I mean, we're not even getting very many encounters with the right enemies. That made a huge difference with the switch in the... with the birds. Going from one fight to... Or fighting them fairly frequently to, or going from fighting mostly little HUD enemies to actually fighting the birds almost every time, and having a solo encounter made a big difference. Satsuru finally learned Drain. Uh, that means he's actually maxed on both of the strength increasing ones. Uh, let's go to... Bahamut. Actually, let's do... No, we'll leave it at Bahamut. That'll work. Uh, that HP boost is a good thing for those uh, for the characters that aren't going to be casting magic.
Potion, no. The scary thing is this is the easier of the two. Um, the other version that we can fight is actually even harder. And again, we can't heal. If we heal... <laughs> uh, it breaks the... Mimic chain. So that's our game to level. Um, intentionally just trying to burn through potions there. Um, I don't think it we got any yet. Let's double check. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure we didn't. Nope. Okay. Well, this video has already been going pretty long. So I think we're gonna stop at the end. And consider our options. By that I mean we're gonna end this video. And we'll pick back up next time with more of probably more of the same. Um <laughs> I may take a break, get something to eat, and refill my drink. Running low on everything. We made about 40,000 gil, which isn't bad. Uh, we did get the four growth eggs, which is actually the one I was more worried about. Um, and at absolute worst, I can just not do the other part right now. <laughs> um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with not having four pairs of marble shoes immediately, and there are other ways to get them um, that don't involve the morph command, so I may pursue those. If I do, yeah, well, we'll figure it out. Like I said, I'm gonna do a little more research. At absolute worst, uh, if, <laughs> there will be grinding next time, I promise. Um, I will also be trying to get uh, another topic to babble about while I'm going. Um, my last one was what are my favorite parties, or what are some of my favorite parties from when I was a kid versus now and stuff like that, which is the one I was talking about uh, today. I do have a couple other questions, I suppose, that I can try and pick up, uh, but they were uh, ones I didn't have good answers for yet. So we'll figure out where we're at, and uh, we'll back up next time. Either way. Uh, by the way, if you are feeling this, and no, no, I'll, I'll I'll make it in the I'll make a post in the Facebook about having asking somebody to. Uh, to count fights as they go through to double check my math. I have myself at 39. It's probably somewhere within about three of that. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so yeah, hopefully you're still enjoying this. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good